next <laughs> images were no scenes from a movie, but they were of your own wild teenager who had gone one little step too far. Young ladies, you are all guilty of juvenile crimes, illegal possession of narcotics, and drinking. You are a menace to society. I find you 30 days in juvenile detention. The mothers on today's show say that they are living in constant fear that their teenage daughters are headed for jail or even death because of their out of control behavior. These girls are only 13, 14, and 15 years old. They're smoking cigarettes and marijuana. They're using alcohol. They're having unprotected sex with several partners. They're running away from home for days at a time. They're skipping school, and they're getting into violent fights with other kids. These young girls are even using weapons like butcher knives and guns to threaten their own family. Please meet Debbie. Now, Debbie has a daughter whose name is Christy, who's 14 years old. So wild that she's been forced to turn your home into a prison by nailing the window shut, putting deadbolts on the doors, and the point of this is to try to keep Christy locked in the house? I never know what she's going to do. What's going on with Christy to force you to live like a prison warden? She has tried to kill her stepfather. She stood at the side of the bed with a butcher knife. She's beaten on her brothers and sisters. She doesn't go to school. She smokes pot. She asked a little boy to take her virginity as a birthday present for her 15th birthday. She doesn't, she has no conscience, she doesn't care. The fact that, you know, there's nobody but me to take care of us doesn't matter. It's what Christy wants, what Christy needs, not that anybody else has any. She smokes pot, she drinks, she does exactly what she wants, when she wants it, and the devil be damned with whoever else it hurts. It you doesn't matter. You must be matter. absolutely desperate. I've done every, calling you was, it's just like the last thing I knew to do. Yeah. I have no choice. and kicks and hits and punches the brothers and sisters? Exactly. If she doesn't get her way, she has a seven-year-old brother that's half her size. This boy has no defense. She doesn't care. She didn't get what she wanted. You ask her why? Because I felt like it. Now, is that true, what you said about trying to kill her? We woke up one night, and she was standing beside the bed with a butcher knife, and needless to say, her stepfather doesn't live there anymore. There's no man in the world that's going to put up with that, whether it's his kid or not. He doesn't care. He had to leave. He buys the kids Christmas presents. He's not there anymore. He buys for Christy. Christy doesn't care. Just as long as Christy gets what she wants. Wow. She's not spoiled. She's mean. She's what? a mean, selfish child. What? Sometimes it helps if she's using to go to drug rehab. Have you she's been there. Did um, it work? She left halfway through the treatment program because nobody knows as much as Christy does. And you can't get a good high if you can't do drugs and you can't drink and you have to listen to somebody. What? Wow. One of the hardest parts of this is you've lost touch with your own family, isn't it? What? Tell it's me what. It's not just the family, it's anybody. You can't bring anybody home. My father's not a well man. He went, they took Christy for me for about six months because I couldn't, I have four other children I couldn't take anymore. And my father called me one night and said, you're gonna have to come and get her. She's killing me. She, my father went to discipline her and she told him that if he did, she would tell the authorities lies that would put him under the jail. And my father's a good man, a good Christian man. He would never hurt any of my kids. Least of all, not Christy. And he's become progressively more and more ill, right? Yeah. So no one wants to be around her. And this used to be a close-knit family. Oh, we were real close. When my folks moved up state, we moved with them. I mean, I followed within a couple of months. I never wanted to let go of my family because I always felt like family was all you had, but even the family can't take her anymore. What 
do you think there's any possible reason, if we're talking about a close-knit family and nice people, what is the reason that she behaves this I've way? I've been a good parent. I have four more children that they're not perfect. I mean, kids have their problems. But they're good kids. Mom, I love you. Can I help you with anything? With Christy, it's more like when she says, Mom, I love you, it's all right, what do you want? Yeah. Because that's the only time she's nice to anybody. All right. Let's bring Christy out and see if some of us can. <laughs> Here. You're 14 years old, is what Mother is saying, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. She and you're is proud right? Of it. Yeah, I'm proud of it. Why are you proud of it? Because I act the way I want to, I feel the way I want to, and then ain't nobody gonna stop the way I wanna act. And if that's a problem, y'all just need a hug. Y'all just need a hug. I'm gonna act the way I wanna act. I'm gonna act Why the way I wanna act. do you, if you know what this is doing to your mother, to your grandfather, to the family, why do you wanna act that way? Because I don't care. I just don't. You have Why to care about care? somebody sometime. There's no place left for you to go, Christy. The family won't take you. We have no friends. We can't live in any place long enough to do anything. You get us kicked out. So blame it on me. Just it like is your time. fault, honey. I love you. What was that thing about uh, threatening your stepfather with a butcher knife? What was he that? made me mad. I did it anyway. Just he made sad. you mad? Yeah. They put boundaries on you. You have to have some. You're 14 years old. Do you think these people are going to sit around and kiss your butt to make you feel better? No, no, no. I don't care. I don't care. Knowing that half this audience does the same thing that I do, so in the part of your game. I don't think so. I don't care. What about beating up your own brothers and sisters? They deserve. They hear me. They're gonna get hit back. This is what they I don't know. hit you. Okay. They don't hit you. The little brother is how old? Seven. He's seven. How can you at he fourteen? He was born on her seventh birthday. Well, she told everybody when she was seven that was her birthday present, and now he's nothing but a pain in her side. Why? Why? He's, he's not is? a. Watch he, your mouth. He makes me mad. I don't care. Everything makes you mad? Yeah. Does anything make you happy, Christy? Yeah, I didn't even want to be on this show. You made me All right, you threatened to kill your stepfather. The man woke up, you had a butcher knife to his throat, but he makes sure you have Christmas every year. Am I supposed to spend the rest of my life alone so that, because of you? Go ahead, I'm please. supposed to spend the rest of my you life by myself. Huh? I saw you out back, and you thought you were all that trying to talk to me. You know, I could pick five girls in this audience that if I leave you in a room with them, you won't even shut be able to. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. You want me to shut the hell up? Stop it. You want me to shut the hell up, but check it out. I got a house to live at. You know what I'm saying? Sooner or later, you ain't gonna have nowhere to live because your mom ain't gonna be there no more. I don't care. You don't care, then you're gonna be shooting up the drugs on the corner. You know right. what I'm saying? You're Selling your body for the sex. somewhere. They're gonna find I don't you. Care. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. That's it. somebody else I care I gave birth to you I brought you here because I wanted you in my life Sorry. you're a part of me you have to listen to somebody that's just it you don't care you gotta care sometime or you're gonna end up dead or in jail or worse Sorry. You want to be somebody's little whore on the street? I ain't never said it's gonna be no whore. No, but that's where you're going. Excuse me. You gonna have to make her care in order for how? Her, have, how do you make how? her care? Because you have to learn how to teach her in order for her to get respect. I have she's gonna have to learn how to respect her. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Mother, do the am I and I do the other thing? You know what? You know what? You know what? You know You know what? 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 You
about uh, mothers who, as you said, Debbie said, this is the court of last resort. Uh, she cannot possibly uh, make it on her own, and so she's brought her daughter here. And people are saying to me, how old are you, Christy? You're 14, right? Mm -hmm. I just looked up what uh, the producers told me about you. You've been hanging out with a wild crowd that does a lot of drugs and worships Satan. Oh. <laughs> Ask her how she can believe wait, in wait, Satan wait, wait, and not wait. believe that there's a God there. Wait, wait. And then it says, and all that groovy stuff. Is worshiping Satan groovy stuff? Yeah. Explain to me what you mean by worshiping Satan. It's not like really worshiping saint. We just get around, you know, we drink each other's blood, you know, we just. Please meet Donna. Donna's daughter's older. She's 15. One year old. So out of control that uh, you've described her, and I quote, as a horrible, mean, nasty little brat. Is that true? <gasps> yes. Rachel is um, so angry at everything. Um, she tells her father and I when we try to get her to do something, F you, I'll do it when I'm ready to do it. I don't care what you think. I don't care what people think of me. Uh, I, they don't like it. I'll just beat there, you know, and she just loses. You say that she's violent. Why, why is she violent? Or in what way is she violent? I've had to, I've had to pry her hands off the throat of my 13-year-old son to keep her from choking him to death. I have a 19-year-old son who is six foot one, and he refrains from, from beating her. He, she, takes him and tra chases him around the house with a knife and he doesn't want to hurt her because he's not out of control. He, she took her father's ratchet, one of his wrenches. She hit him in the knee with it and that wasn't good enough. She picked it up and threw it at him again. She knocked the front of my stove out, just shattered the glass on my stove. She's knocked holes in the wall of the house, literally torn the door frame off of her bedroom. Right now, my house is under renovation. It's costing me $17,000 to redo my house because it's destroyed. She breaks things, draws on the walls, right? She draws on the walls. She tags, she calls it tags and draws on her bedroom wall. And just, she's just out of control. She has no feeling whatsoever as far as what her father and her, her brothers and I. We've done everything that we can for her. She's a good, stable home. Her father is a hard worker, a loving man. We've done everything we can for Rachel. We've given her every opportunity that we can. She's in the honors gifted program at school and she's starting to fail. She's three F's now. She has a bright future in front of her and she's just wasting it. Oh. All right, let's bring Rachel out. <laughs> You can't do what you want to do. You have yes, to I do. Can, you have to live. Rachel, in where did you get the idea that everybody can do what they want to do? Where did you get this idea? From my mother. Your mother? Oh. No, Rachel, not like that. You can be anything you want to be. I told you, but I wasn't talking about a murderer. So. What are you gonna do if you kill your brother and go to jail? Then I Rachel, have you been listening to your mother? She says you're very violent and very angry. Do you know why? Yeah, because people mess with me. I don't like it. No, they do mess with me. They won't leave me alone. Non-constantly.
constantly nitpicking at me. That gets on my nerves. Oh. I told her that. You have to learn to walk away. Two wrongs don't make a right, I tell her all the time. I keep saying, Rachel, you don't want to lower yourself to their standards. When they're giving you a hard time, you to takes more of a person to walk away than it does to feed it. <laughs> I have a poem you want to read to her. Go ahead. I wrote, this, I wrote this poem to Rachel. You want to be bad and you think it's all fun, but what will happen when you meet your first gun? Will you really be okay or will I find you dead someday? Sweet little angel, where have you gone? What has saddened your heart and quieted your song? Please tell me, did we do something wrong? Be right back. You have said that you hate your mother. Do you hate your mother? Yeah, I hate my mom. No. I kicked her out. Three days ago, I told her, get her little ass. <laughs> You take it off. Mother, nothing can be more devastating than seeing your own child put herself or his self in danger. But what happens if that child is also putting you in danger or your other children in danger? What would you do? Uh, would you want the law to intervene? These are some of the tough questions facing the mothers here today. They say that their teen daughters are so out of control that they think girls are going to end up as criminals. Now, this is Sue, right? Yep. Sue's here because of her daughter, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth is only 13. Just turned 13. And the trouble started when she was 12. Lizzie does not go to school. She doesn't care. Um, they get, she doesn't even put it. She's, they kick her out of school. I mean, they, they, they don't kick her out of school. They put her in in-house detention. So therefore, she doesn't go to a class because she's uncontrollable in the class. She has no respect for her teachers. If at somebody 13. At, at 13, and she just turned 13 now. That's just turned 13, and uh, smoke cigarettes, marijuana, marijuana uses alcohol. She'll tell you she has to have it every day. And is sexually active, sneaks out of the house, yeah. runs away for days at a time, and even held a gun, gun to, to her my son's head. I wasn't there, so they now, didn't know what 13, to do. Now, at 13, she's been in detention for most of the school year. Yes, in-house school detention. She has not gone to a regular For swearing class. at the teacher, fighting with fighting other students. Fighting classmates. She doesn't care about Now, what education. have you done to try and control her? I've grounded her. I've uh, taken away. She doesn't get birthday presents. She doesn't get Christmas gifts. Well, you may say it's nothing, but I'm not going to beat her. When I go to beat her, I go to jail. Do you understand that? I'm not going to jail. I have other children. So save it. Let's bring out Elizabeth. Now, remember, she's 13. Elizabeth, come on now. Elizabeth, it sounds as if you have quite a long list of uh, bad behavior. What yeah. about these things? What about smoking? Yeah, I smoke. 
Okay. Smoking pot? Yeah, smoke pot. Do it every day? Yep. Okay, skipping school? Yep. Running away? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's just a Shut up. Sex. <laughs> no. And don't talk to my mama like that, because I will you hurt y'all. Sit down. So don't talk to my mama like that. No, the hell I don't. Sit down. Sit down. And you do talk to me because you call me. Then why do you call me a bitch? I only called you that once. And, and I'm not lying. Shut your ass up, mother Liz, Liz. Old and you're sexually active? Yep, one person. Doesn't matter. 13 years old, you don't care if you have a baby. You told me you didn't want to have a baby. If you have sex, I don't care. You can have a baby. I don't have, care if you have birth control, condom. You're taking so, the chance. I know, but I'm not. See, 13, she's still immature. She doesn't know what she wants. Go ahead. Y'all know what I, I do. Comment. Plain and simple, it's all about respect. Amen. I'm 16 years old. I respect my mother. You know what I'm saying? For you. Obviously, all three of you ladies have a serious problem with self-esteem. All right? Yeah, if you that. if you felt good about yourself and you felt good about your family, you would respect your mother. You wouldn't do that. And if these girls are so big and bad mothers, you know what you do? You put them out on their own. You put them out on their own. But you cannot do it. In the state of Florida, you cannot put them out of your home. You can only emancipate them when they're 16 years old. Go ahead. I want to know, do you think it's cute the way you're doing your mothers? Do you think it's cute? No. It's not man. cute. It's not cute. It's not yours. So good for you. It's 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 so good for Please meet Kathy. Kathy, your 15-year-old is no better than the other three girls, is she? No, she's not. And maybe in some ways worse? <laughs> yeah. Because of being uh, so sexually active, is that the problem? Right. She's, she comes home with hickeys all over her neck, and, she, and I tell her that it makes her look trashy, and when I tell her it makes her look trashy, she'll cuss me out, she'll tell me I'm a bitch. Um, now, she's been to reform school. Right, I have sent her off, and I just got her back home August, and she was good for two How long weeks. was she in reform school? Eight months. And it didn't do any it good at all? It did not face her, not one bit. Why? Because Tiffany wants to do what Tiffany wants to do. And reform school made no... No, it made an impact on her when she was there. It was, oh, I love you, Mommy. I promise I won't do this. Anything, get me out, right. get and me out. Right, and then when I got her out two weeks later, I hate you, drop dead, go to hell. She's out having sex. I tell her about the hickey. She comes home with the hickeys. But I'm supposed to be proud because she does use rubbers. Let's talk to Tiffany. Tiffany, come on out. said that you hate your mother. Do you hate your mother? Yeah, I hate my mom. Why do you hate her? Because, man, you live with her. You try to live with her. She won't let me leave. I, ha I have let her leave. She kicked out three no, days ago. I kicked her out. Three days ago, I told her, get her a little ass. <laughs> I 
I'd like you to meet Angela. Angela, what do you think of what you're seeing? Yeah, and as long as you keep doing what you're doing, we're You guys are going to regret it all. Tell me about you, Angela. Tell me about you. My mom had to file bankruptcy because I went to the psychiatric hospitals. I just, my mom. You're lucky you have your family. You're all little bitches. To your mom. <laughs> you, Angela. Tell me what happened. I ran away from home. I used to live with my father when I was 13. I ran away from home and I started living with my mom. And I started hanging out with the bad crowd. I started drinking and doing drugs and well, I don't drink. But you do drugs. I was rebellious towards my mom and then I went away to a home for four months. I was in a hospital before that. Then I went to a home for four months and then I had to go to a hospital school, like a psychiatric hospital school, and go to therapy. I was on tons of medications. But my grandfather just recently passed away of cancer. I put him and my grandmother through so much. And I didn't get to say, I'm sorry for everything I did to him, because he's gone now. And you guys don't know what you have until you lose it. Oh you don't know what you have. I don't even know who the hell I am. So I, you know, I, 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 She's where you, you know, I have she doesn't know who the hell I am, she can't see me. She's just like you, Christy, that's, that's, what that's, that's what she's trying to tell you. That's not what I heard. Why? You don't know what are you going to do to me? Go ahead. You think I'm scared of you? I'm not scared of you. I don't care if you are scared of me, but you don't know who you're dealing with. Excuse me. You don't know who you're dealing with. 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 Aren't you like afraid of getting like HIV, having all this unprotected sex, and you were drinking the blood and with your crackhead friends and all that? <laughs> you don't know. No, no, no. You don't know My what friends they aren't crackheads for one, okay? Well, well, if you're gonna put somebody on that, you need to put yourself on the show. How do they know what you are? I came on the show because you wanted me to come on the show, so why can't I wanted you to come on the show so maybe you'd turn into a decent human being. You know, he's right. Drinking blood. They're judging you on what you're telling them. I don't care. They don't know. You're telling them. This is where you are. They need to know who I am first before they judge you. You told them who you are. This is what you show people. This is what people think of you. It's not cool, is it? It's I not care. neat, is it? I don't care, but y'all know, y'all know, and y'all have to be truthful. If I was one of y'all's friends that got on the street and y'all smoked pot, y'all would do the same thing with me. You don't have any real friends. You've got druggies. Christy, do you, you've said about three times that you think everyone in the audience is just like you, but because they're here, they're acting different. Do you believe that? Yeah. 
I, I truly believe that. I truly believe that. You I respect my mother. I don't call my mom any names. When she oh, says, excuse me. I respect you. Excuse me. Back off. If you're going to be here, you can tell them the truth. I respect you. You respect me. That's why I'm a bitch, right? I respect you. We'll be right back. In the break, we welcome psychologist and relationship expert Anne Renee Testa. Anne Renee, you've been talking to our first mother and daughter. What's going on there? It's so very sad, Sally, because she wants so desperately to have boundaries and someone to say to her, stop, you can't do this. Right. And while mom says she grew up with a lot of love, I don't think mom knew how to set boundaries. She is dying for it. She said she doesn't want to be like this anymore. She does have boundaries set. She doesn't follow them. She needs to, to, and the road is not gonna be easy because all the behaviors are kind of programmed in there. But if you really want to change, you can start doing it from the time you get off this set. Yeah. Family. You gotta change your friends. Change your friends. You don't know where I live. The place I live is nothing but gangsters and thugs and drugs and nothing else. That's it. Well, then you need to be away from there. They go to church three times. She needs to be. You need to be any place. Well, maybe we can help with that. She needs to be away from this because this environment is poisonous for her, her and she needs and to be away like from the friends, from the gangs, from everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and what about Rachel and Christy? Uh, uh, Rachel and Donna. Uh, Rachel is it was in an accelerated program for br bright children. She's in a gifted honors program. Now she's school. three F's. Right? Is that correct? Yes, it is correct. I Why? just don't like school. It's getting boring. And if and what do you mean it's getting boring? It's just getting boring. The teachers are stupid. No, no, you're the one. You're the one that has to take responsibility, honey. You have to take responsibility yourself. And don't blame it on the school and don't blame it on the teachers and don't blame it on your mom. or doing something violent is not going to help you, your young lady. Get back on the track. Get back on the track. You deserve more than that. Well, if the school... I for Rachel, uh, I was a problem child when I was younger and I didn't listen to my parents. And I blew school off, I didn't go to college, and I am so sorry now, and Rachel is so bright and I have such high hopes for her. I want her to go to college and be what she wants to be. And She's telling me the other day she wants to be in the Navy. Well, she can't handle authority now. There's no way she can go in the military. Well, if, if that's a goal, if that's a goal for you, if that's a goal for her to be in the Navy, then you've got to start now because the Navy is like boot camp. You've got to start now and get rid of your anger. Your mom did what she could for you, but now you've got to take on the responsibility. I know you're angry. And you're angry at not having the boundary set. You're angry at that your mother didn't have it. You've got to break the chain, and you're the one that can do it. And <laughs> really. Listen to her. She can do, she can do very well, too. That's what she wants. We'll be right back.
Someone said something about love, and Rachel made the remark that they say it, but they don't mean it. I want you to leave here today, no matter whether you change or not, knowing one thing, I love you. I love you with my whole heart and my soul, and I will never leave you, Rachel. Even if I have to take you from our family, I will never leave you. I love you, Rachel. This is Sue, who says, and Elizabeth's 13 years old. Elizabeth, what do you want to be when you grow up? Huh? What I want to be? Yeah. A doctor. A doctor? Right. She has her dreams. And you can you can hold too true to those dreams. You can't do things like pull guns on people. Yeah. That doesn't work. You gotta go to school. Now. You wanna be a healer? Start healing now. You can do it too. You gotta go to school. I don't understand why she doesn't go to school. I think has Elizabeth ever been in a drug rehab? No, Liz, um, I got her tested and she refused to go. She refused. She's, I, my she guess refused. is she needs drug rehab. Yes, she does. Yeah. yeah. And she needs to be made to go. And it's got to be away from your house. You've right. got to make sure that she checks in some place where they're going to take, they're going to provide the structure because it's difficult for you to do that. I can't. Right. She, yeah. she has to do that. Are you willing to do that? No. Nope. Then you're not going to become a doctor. You, you don't want to be that. a doctor. You don't know that. I know a lot. Y'all do not know that. You can't. Y'all do not know that. You rule your own self. Listen to me. Why don't you prove them all wrong? Because they don't believe you. You deserve more. You're here for a reason. She Sally needs and a, I want to help she you. She needs an away You've got drug a, program. Definitely yeah, does. Yeah. Definitely yeah. does. This is Tiffany who yeah. doesn't like her mother. She just doesn't like her mother. Maybe you don't like her. What does that mean? I just don't like her. What does that mean? Your mother is the one that gave birth to you. Your mother is the one that changed your diapers. Your mother is the one who has been there for you. Has she not? Yeah. So, you know something? Whether you like her or not, you've got to put up with her. Or else, you go out on your own, you go get a job, you support yourself, and we'll see how far you get right now. Love her. Tell her you love her. And thank her. Thank her. She can't tell me right now. Thank your mother for doing it. You she know what? They told me thank you, love Well, you, if she didn't, then time. you need to withdraw I, I some of the good her. stuff you're giving her. I do. I, I and when I tell her I love her, and when she does something good, even as mean as she is to me, I even tell her I'm. Why proud do you accept that she's mean to you for one minute? Right. Why do I accept? Why do you accept that abuse? I don't know. Why? You've got to find your own self-value. You have to find your own self-value. Then she's going to value herself. But in the meantime, now. You've got to take a good look at your mother. You only have one mother in this life. And if that mother is gone, you know what's going to happen? You're going to feel very sorry. You're going to feel very alone. And I have to tell you, my mother just died. I want to tell you something. Treasure her. Treasure her. We'll be right back.
You know, Anne Renee came over very quickly because we said, gee, we need her. And I told her a friend in need is a friend indeed. There are five young ladies sitting on home base right now. And my feeling is that three of them will pull themselves out of this and go on to great things. I'd like the other two to really prove me wrong. Anyhow. See you next time.